Welcome back to the channel, Classic Volkswagen Lovers uh, Jr. with uh, Classic VW Bucks and Sonny the Super Beetle. So today's video is not a tutorial. Today's video is more a informational video for those of you out there who may have some questions. And um, the question here today is, can I remove my intake manifold with my engine installed? And the answer is yes, you can do that. However, there's always something, right? However, if you ask me, I would rather drop my engine to the floor and work it on the floor as opposed to do it in the engine bay. And the reason being is because the amount of space that you have to work with your tools, it's limited. Not to mention that you may risk a chance that you might strip a stud or something like that and then you have an extra problem. Depending on the year make of your car, you're, you're going to have a different type of engine. Uh, earlier models had the 1200, 1300 or 1500 uh, cc engines uh, from, I want to say from 70, uh, 70, 71 and up. Uh, then. Um, Volkswagen, you know, changed to the 1600 dual port and kept making modifications to the engines as years, you know, uh, went by and we were going into new technology and things like that from going from a carb to fuel injection, all of those things of that matter. Now, Sunny has a 1600 dual port. Uh, that's the engine that was original to the car. Um, in my case, if you ask me, can I remove my intake with my engine installed? Yes, I can. Again, the amount of parts that I will have to remove to do that with ease, it's so inconvenient that I would rather drop the engine to the floor and work it on the floor. My engine has a dual port intake manifold, meaning that um, I have two openings in my head. A single port will have one opening in the head. So my intake is a three piece part component, meaning that my middle section in my dual port intake manifold, it's one piece, it's a T connection. And then I have two end casting pieces on the side. So, again, if you ask me, I would rather drop the engine. Now, you can do maintenance in your engine, you can repair stuff in your engine, and there are certain exceptions, like you can remove your carb and replace it with the engine installed. That's an easy job to do. You can remove your uh, belt and replace it with the engine installed. Uh, things of that matter that are more exposed to the external components and parts of your engine, you can do that within your engine bay. Now, let me show you this. So that's my engine, or I should say Sonny's engine, right? Now look in here. This is my M piece casting towards the driver's side and then you can see that it is connected with a rubber boot uh, to the middle section of the car. If I was to remove that, I could just break that loose here and then go to the heat risers here and break those bolts loose and do the same thing, repeat the same process on the other side over here in the passenger uh, side, remove that boot, and then I will have to access a nut that it's somewhere in there about to the exact center middle of the engine case that you will have to access from over here. Actually, that nut right there with a, an extension probably uh, coming behind the distributor from here, I could probably release that, right? But then look, I'm gonna have to deal with this guy here. 
And to deal with this guy here, I will have to break this loose, um, take this whole piece off, you know, take the strap off. Do I want to do that with my engine install? Well, to each his own. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But if you ask me again, this guy here, Junior, Junior rathers to drop the engine to the floor and remove whatever major components out because it's easier. Um, if you don't have the equipment um, to do so, I, I would understand you going through the problem, but if you own a small single jack, one of those jacks that you can buy at one of these uh, uh, local auto parts stores, they cost like $29 and they come with the extra towers and stuff like that. I would just rather take off the four bolts from the transmission and drop it and work it on the floor. But that's my, that's my personal opinion. Um, and remember that this is just an informational uh, video. So I'm just giving you those tips out there so that you can see all of the uh, things that you will have to deal with and then fiddle with it around it to trying to get that guy out. Now, I know earlier models like 1200, 1300, and 1500 had the uh, single port, uh, and uh, I can't recall off my head, you know, um, how complicated it will be to actually remove that. But to be honest with you, you are much better off to just do it working your engine on the floor. Or if you, you know, if you have an engine stand and you want to do that, and then the other thing that you can take advantage of while your engine is out is double check your engine seal. This is your engine seal here. This engine seal, it's uh, critical for your um, cooling in your car. There's one here and there's one that goes in the arch uh, behind the shroud, which is the firewall. So there's one that goes install uh, in an arch form in the firewall and there uh, and then you have this one here and this seal here is not a complicated job to do but with the engine install it's not an easy job to do either so things of that matter you want to make sure that you uh, capture or you pay close attention to when you have your engine out because that's the best time to actually replace your seal uh, because uh, although it's an easy job to do the uh, the little um, uh, fasteners, the, the little uh, clips or channel that actually fastens this in place sometimes is rotted, you know. So you've run into a lot of things that you would rather uh, not run into. But, you know, again, do that. Do that. You know, make sure you take care of your car by doing that. Okay guys, so I hope that this informational video is going to help you decide what you want to do with your um, maintenance or whatever uh, it is what you are doing with your engine. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment below. I will, I will reply back to you. Um, stay safe. Please follow the local ordinance in your state and in your hometown, uh, work your mask. Uh, we are living at times that are not getting any better so far. And the statistics actually show that something else is coming. So keep that in mind. Please stay safe and cope with whatever is going out there in the world, all that stress by just chillaxing you know work in your engine work in your car do activities that keep your uh, mind engaged with your body and your spiritual uh, you know peace of mind your family stay with your family work with your family you know play games with your family and things like like that um, okay so that's it for right now I hope that this video is going to help you uh, somehow um, this is Junior with uh, Classic VW Bucks. Junior out.